Hi friends, Rebecca here coming to you from um, San Pancho, state of Nayarit in Mexico where Brad and I are staying, living actually for a few months. Um, welcome to um, the first video um, for the 21 day meditation challenge. So this is the video for week one and um, from now till um, the end of the 21 day challenge I'm gonna offer you a weekly video um, offering you a little piece of adventure like I usually do and also offering you some meditation teaching and, um, and a practice. So uh, what I want to share in this first video is um, three, W's, three W's and one H and um, the three W's are why, who and what and the H is how. So, um, why is why would one want to do a 21 day meditation challenge? Um, it's really important before we do anything that we actually connect with our own why, with our own reason why, and that we actually really make it personal that it doesn't have to do with anybody else's why. We can have our very own um, reason why, and it can be very personal, very intimate, and very colorful. So, um, the, but some common reason why would be because it's something inspiring to us and in terms of a um, 21 daily meditation challenge because we want to either kick off a practice that we don't have a meditation practice or never had it before and it's something inspiring to us and we long for it uh, or we want to come back to it or recover one that we might have um, lost um, since a few years or a few weeks or however long time we kind of fell off the horse of practice. So those are some reasons that it should be very personal, the reason why um, it should be inspiring and um, it's a way for us to start a practice or reconnect with the practice. So for who is this, um, is this challenge a uh, good fit for? Well again, like I was just saying, um, you can never have had a practice and be a complete beginner when it comes to meditation. So it's completely um, a very good way to start a practice if that's inspiring to you if you're a beginner. So for beginners it's fine. And, um, and also for however advanced you are. So for me, myself, I've been practicing meditation for almost a decade. And I know of people who've been practicing for 40, 50 years for almost their whole lives. And um, it seems like it doesn't matter. Sometimes we just fall off the horse. We just don't practice and we forget about it. And, um, and making a challenge like this, at least it works really well for me. And uh, it seems to be a good container for a lot of people. It's, um, it's a challenge and, um, and we commit to it. And, um, and that makes it very powerful. So for our third W, what? So what what is it and what should we do um, so again um, it should be inspiring so set an intention that is inspiring to you and it should be realistic it's very important that we don't set us up for failure that we actually um, are able to experience some some success and some celebration around this uh, this challenge so um, I think if you're an advanced meditator and have meditated for many years, you might really know what to do. So this is um, this challenge and this commitment is just an opportunity for you to set yourself up in whatever in whatever way is inspiring to you to um, get back to a practice. And if you're a beginner, I want to just take a little moment to give you a handful of, of tips of um, of what you can do within this commitment and this time of practice. Um, so I just want to share briefly my own story. Um, when I was a beginner ten, 10 years ago, I started attending um, some meditation instructions in local meditation centers where I was at the time in Boulder, Colorado. And I started reading a lot of books. And um, eventually Brad and I, after a meeting, after six months, we um, left our jobs and went traveling in India. This was um, nine years from, from now. And um, we started traveling and we were reading books on meditation and at some point I just told Brad, hey, you know what, I think we should start a daily practice. We've been reading about it and it seems to be have a lot of benefit and it's something we're longing for. So um, 
We started with five minutes a day, just five minutes a day, every day. It was the first thing um, we did as we woke up, um, or at least before we had breakfast. Maybe we would take a shower first, or maybe we would make the bed, I don't remember. We would um, do um, at least five minutes before we had breakfast and before we actually left our hotel room. So that's something I recommend to make it really small, really attainable, and uh, important is the consistency to actually do it daily. Just like we brush our teeth every day, we get out of bed every day, um, you do a little meditation practice every day. So five minutes or ten minutes is a perfect start, and that would be a tip of mine. And um, if you've never gotten guide, guided meditation before, you've never read a book before, and this is your absolute first time, I'm gonna attach a 20 minute guided practice that will give you some instruction from my own teacher, Reggie Ray, who I, um, who I study with and uh, I have been studied with, studying with for almost a decade. So um, that will help you and that will get you up and running. So that was it for the three doubles you. And now how, um, so how do we do all of this? So I just have three small little tips that I want to share with you here. And how I think the first and most important thing is to actually just set an intention. Set an intention for this challenge, for this commitment. Um, and in that intention, connect with a reason why, the, why we want to do this challenge. And, um, and uh, two other things, um, to make it into priority. So if we need to rearrange something within our day so that we can do that, if it means just waking up five minutes earlier, if we wake up with a tight schedule, um, then do that, um, or going to bed five minutes later, or whatever time. So rearrange a little bit and make sure that it's a priority. And the last thing is just do it. Like the Nike advertising, really just do it. Um, the hard thing is actually getting to our place of practice. Um, but once we get there, often we are um, happy that we are there and we're happy to do our practice. So just doing it is huge. So that's all I have for today. Um, Stay tuned for next video where I will be sharing more meditation insight and um, another new practice for your week. And if you want to receive um, these videos and um, in your inbox and um, some other news from me that I only share with my subscribers, please subscribe in, um, on my website, RebeccaCastella.com. Look forward to practicing with you. Bye.